What do you do with loose cannons? He said, I've got some loose cannons in the organization. What do you do with loose cannons, loose cannons? And he obviously thought that I knew what he meant by that was, which I knew he was inferring, you know, um, dodgy people, um, divisive people, do their own thing people, non-team playing people, you know, loose cannons. Um, and I said to him, well, if I were you, I'd be looking amongst them for my leaders. Looked like I slapped him in the face. The last thing he even thought was that a loose cannon tendency could be the mark of a great leader. Think of the great leaders through history. Don't you think they were accused of being loose cannons all of their life? These people now that with hindsight, we make heroes, we deify them. <laughs> Nobody doing that at the time when they were alive. They were called loose cannons and rebels and non-team players. They became history makers. So I said to him, well, what you're calling loose cannons, I think, is perhaps um, an unassembled part of a potentially helpful person in your organization. It might not be. Maybe they are an unhelpful, negative, non-team playing person. Maybe they are. But for you to just use that word about people you haven't looked closer at, I'm not going to be part of that conversation. I'm going to, I'm going to reframe it. I'm going to I'm going to put a twist on it. I'm going to make you think about it differently. Don't know if he ever did. Or those people stayed. Because when people think you've labeled them and named them as loose cannon and see no value in that strength that's hiding behind that veneer, they leave, they move on. And then three years later, they're working for the guy down the road and he saw potential in them that you didn't and he's earning that guy millions. Or started his own business and the loose cannon that you were suspicious about is now putting you out of business. Using that what you call loose cannon ability of leadership to think outside the box, to be independent minded, to go for it, to take risks, to not be a conformist, to be disruptive. Now this guy is putting you out of business who you saw no value in 10 years ago. It's that. So solutions do not come assembled. So stop looking for completed assembled solutions.